He's not particularly my boy. There's not. Meta Knight is one of those characters in this game that, like, a, a lot of the Meta Knight players, like, mo most of the, you know, known representatives of the character switched off to other characters. There we go. Uh, there's that MK. We do have S2H in SoCal who is tried and through, tried and true, through thick and thin will be Meta Knight until he dies in every single game. But we got Cyro versus Young Goose with the Lucas. Young Goose, I love that name. Yeah. We're on Pokemon Stadium too, a very common starter stage. I like to call it Starter Stadium. Dancing around in the neutral here. Okay, finds down tilts into the F tilt. Ah, uh, going right into the PK freeze. Yeah, Lucas still has a lot of his uh, creepy stuff. Like, he still has a down tilt into pretty much anything that you want. The down tilt is great. It has a really short range, but it, it seems really safe to me. Yeah, he, he lost most of his stuff. Oh, I love it. Beautiful air guard. He doesn't have a jump here. Yep. Nice. Uh, Hits him with a back air. Great call from Cyro there. Just Optimal play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think a lot of people emphasize using back air a lot more now, even though back air is still pretty used uh, pretty frequently in four. Yeah. You, you were saying, like, Lucas still has a lot of his tools and stuff. He definitely does have, like, a lot of his tools in neutral. Oh! But he lost most of his, like, grab combos. He lost, like, his, his kill throw. I mean, he still has, like, back throw. I think an up throw will kill, but they're not, like, as strong. Yeah. It's still nice to have. Woo. All right, Cyro with that dimensional cape overlaps Young Goose in percentage. Another potential edge guard for him here. Wow, Cyro just throwing down that dominance. Look at this. Oh my god, the single hit fair confirming into the shuttle loop. Young Goose down to his last stock. That forwarder might have something to say about it. Look at that assertion. All right. Um, okay, well, from what I'm seeing, Young Goose, like I said before, lead trapping is incredibly important, and, uh, yeah, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of capitalization. I see a lot of people just kind of hold shield, and that seems to be pretty effective. Ah, uh, oh just, my just, God, just bro. two of them. Dude, we got two? We got two cinematic finishers during that move? What the hell, dude? Sure, man. <laughs> sure, man. Of course. Bro, what the hell, dog? Uh, that was tight, though. And I've seen that edge guard actually uh, previously from Cyro, I believe. I saw a Twitch clip of it. Uh, it was funny because he actually that like did that same edge guard, but we got the cinematic finisher, and then there was like the the final hit coming out, and there was no second one. So I was really shocked to see a second one, but. Hey, it provided for the hype, and Cyro up a game is gonna switch over to the Roy. Let's see what he can do with this character. If anything, I say like this matchup is even better for him. The Sporties, they love to play against uh, the PSI kids. Oh yeah, trust me, I know for sure. I just love how Cyro just immediately went to the Roy. I did what I had to do with Meta Knight. I'm gonna switch on over to see what I can do with this guy. Love it. Yeah, and right now it's just like Young Goose is really whipping a lot of his attacks. Definitely, his spacing is not quite uh, there, but he does manage to find the hits here and there in neutral. 37% uh, now. Trying to turn around with the, uh, what do you call it, the flare blade? Yeah, that flare blade. I mean, that, that's what it's called. Neutral B, flare blade, okay. You know, I almost never see a flare blade just like two frame people, and I see some people who try to use it. Oh, oh the counter, bro, what? It hit him from behind. <laughs> sure, man, why not? That looked nasty, dude. I wasn't sure which direction Young Goose was gonna fly, but all that matters is that he flies into the blast zone, and that's where he is. Uh, down a stock in this game number two. Uh, let's see if he can take at least one here from uh, Cyro. He throws him off stage. He's gonna try to edge guard him with the uh, Psy, or excuse me, the, uh, yeah. The, why am I the, the blanking? A thing, hey. The up B, what's the call? I'm blanking. Oh, the uh, PK Thunder? PK Thunder, that's the well, there's also PK Rocket, so you're probably like differentiating between the two. Yeah, I mean, I don't think PK Rocket is actually an official like yeah. name. It's, it's just called PK uh, Thunder Two. Yeah. yeah, that's the like common nomenclature. Up yeah. throw here is not gonna be enough for Young Goose to get the stock. Maybe the next one, but it's looking pretty grim. Now he has no rage and he's down on his last life. Cyro at 133 percent. Up throw again. Now he's gonna go for the back throw. Okay, the begin free. Yeah, Cyro hasn't really been. Okay, there we go. Cyro hasn't really been conditioned to do much of anything. He's able to just kind of do whatever he wants. Young Goose has to be a bit more deliberate in the way that he approaches. Yeah, I definitely think he could. Uh, he has a lot more room to uh, 
take his time, right? He has PK Fire, which we haven't seen a whole lot of. Similar to that set with the Greninja earlier, uh, where we didn't see a lot of the... Uh, the Shuriken. The Shuriken, yeah. And, and if you have a projectile, man, it really, really recommended to use them, especially if you're down and stopped by this much. I will say there is a, a testament to having a really uh, high startup projectile against a character that's really fast on the ground. A character, especially with, you have great aerial mobility with Rory too, so you're able to just jump over PK Fire and then, oh, I'm already in the face. It's, it's definitely not something you want to spam, but I definitely agree with you. You should be using it. Yeah, I mean, you don't really have to spam it. You can uh, use it with intent, right? You can use it smartly. He's starting to use PK Fire a little bit more. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was such a direct hit. Yeah, pivot cancel, F tilt is going to be enough to do it. That forward tilt is such a strong, strong move from uh, Roy. You might even confuse it with the F smash sometimes. But yeah, like I was saying, like, he doesn't need to spam PK uh, Fire, even though it actually is kind of spammable. Like, Lucas's PK Fire is better when used in the air. So mm. if you use it in the air, it actually pushes you back. So if you're already using it at a max distance where your, your opponent isn't going to be able to like rush in and punish you, and it's pushing you even further away, yeah. it's a really good zoning tool. So you can set up a wall, and then you can see like how is my opponent trying to get over this, mm -hmm. and how am I going to punish those options. That's what uh, I mean by conditioning. Right. He hasn't really been conditioning For Roy to sure. do much of anything. And then Roy just sent him back to his mom. and uh, we